Hello everyone, my name is Kaushik and I'm a cloud support engineer from Big Data team in AWS support. Today we'll be looking at how to set up and use Amazon Athena with AWS cost and usage report. Cost and usage report contains the most comprehensive set of cost and resource usage data available. Each report contains line item for each unique combination of AWS products, usage type and operation that you use in your AWS account. With cost and usage report, you publish your AWS billing reports to an Amazon S3 bucket. Reports are generated on hourly, daily, or monthly granularity basis and updated to S3 bucket. To view the report data, you can download the report from an S3 bucket and use any spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel or access them from an application using the Amazon S3 API. However, the problem here is that each time we need to analyze the report, we would have to go through the process of manually downloading the report from S3 bucket and then analyzing it in S3. This problem can be overcome by using Amazon Athena to query the data from our report stored in Amazon S3 by using standard SQL queries. This also enables us to avoid creating our own data warehousing solution to query AWS cost and usage report data. To use Athena, we must first set up an AWS Kube Crawler, an AWS Kube Database, and an AWS Lambda event. The billing and cost management provides an AWS CloudFormation template that does this setup for us. Now let us take a look at the architecture. The cost and usage report generates the report and uploads to S3. Additionally, when we create the report for the first time, a CloudFormation template is generated and stored in Amazon S3 bucket. The CloudFormation template creates two Lambda functions, a Glue Crawler, a Glue data, a Database Table, and IAM roles for the Lambda function. The Lambda function triggers the Glue Crawler and generates a Glue Database Table, which is referenced by Amazon Athena. Now, let us look at a demo on how to set up and use Amazon Athena with cost and usage report. So now we are on the AWS Management Console and our first step here would be to create a cost and usage report. To do so, we first go to My Billing Dashboard and we select Cost and Usage Report. Now we create a new report and we provide a name to the report. Here we have an option of specifying resource IDs in our reports if required. Next, we configure an S3 bucket for the report. We can either choose an existing S3 bucket or we can create a new S3 bucket. Next, a bucket policy is associated with the S3 bucket so that it allows a billing reports.amazonaws.com to put object into the bucket. Next, we provide a report path uh, prefix. Next, we have an option of selecting the time granularity on which the report data is measured and uploaded to S3. Next, we enable report integration for Amazon Athena. So this ensures the compression type is Parquet and the file format is Parquet. Next, we review and complete the changes. So this has created a report for us and an S3 bucket. Please note that once the report is created, that it may take up to eight hours for the first report to show up on the S3 bucket. Additionally, a CloudFormation template is generated automatically by billing and cost management and is stored in the same S3 bucket. I have already created a cost and usage report earlier with the S3 bucket specified, and we can check out the same here. So here you can see that the path prefix specified is used to create a directory and all the reports would be stored inside this. So here you can see that a cloud formation template is created using this auto generated template. Now let us create a cloud formation stack. Let us copy the object URL and move on to cloud formation console. Here, let us create a new stack. We can provide the S3 URL as the object URL, which we just copied and provide a name for the stack. Click Next. Acknowledge the capabilities and create the stack. The stack is currently in create in progress and it will take a while for all the resources to be created successfully.
the cloud formation stack is successfully created and we can check out the resources that were created as you can see the view crawler database table and lambda functions are created successfully so now let us move on to amazon athena console and check out if we are able to access the cost and use its report stored in amazon s3 here we need to ensure that the data source and the database for the athena is configured correctly First, ensure that the data source is pointing to AWS data catalog and the database is pointing to the Glue database that was, cre that was created by the CloudFormation template. Once you select this, you will be able to see the tables under the database. So you can see that there is one table named cost and usage data status. This table gives us detail regarding the current status of the cost and usage report. Let us try to query this. As you can see, the current status of the cost and usage report is ready. So Athena is perfectly configured with the cost and usage report and we are ready to use it. Now, let's take a look at the My Test Report table and see if we are able to successfully query the cost and usage report. So as you can see, we are successfully able to query the cost and usage report and analyze the data. Additionally, I have a set of SQL queries that are commonly used and let us have a look at the same. The first query provides us information as to when the cost and usage report was created and what billing periods are available. Let us have a look at it. So as you can see, the cost and usage report was started from 8th month of 2020. So the second query provides a list of high spend services ordered based on cost. So let us check out the same. So here you can see that it is listed based on the services and it is ordered based on the uh, highest spend services. This way you can run your custom SQL queries and query the design data from the cost and usage report. If you need any further information regarding the configuration setting, you can check out our documentation, which has detailed step about integrating Amazon Athena with cost and usage report. So here are the detailed steps. Thank you for watching. Please drop us a feedback at athena-feedback at amazon.com.